All right, folks, you've got laggy CSGO demos. I've got a few commands that'll help fix that. Let's get started. Okay, fix number one, and first things first, don't watch your demo via the highlight system, okay? Don't come over here, click this, go to your matches, and click watch. That's gonna give you laggy, jittery demos right off the bat, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna type in demo UI and you wanna to go to load, okay? And load your demos that way, all right? Now, if you wanna watch one of your matches that you downloaded from matchmaking, you can actually go to replays and all the demos you downloaded will be right here, okay? Now, let's load a demo and I'll show you a few commands that could additionally help in case you have laggy demos still. Let's try one command that's actually built into Half-Life Advance Effects that might fix your jittery demos right off the bat. We don't have to put any more commands in, okay? So it's gonna be merv fix player anim state and then one, okay? Okay, cool. So this actually, a lot of the time, will fix it without any, uh, any additional commands. This, this will do the job, okay? So why don't you go ahead and give that a try, if that works then I guess we're done here. You can shut off my uh, video or you can go leave the room and let it play the rest of the time. If it doesn't work, let's try some other commands, okay? First, we're gonna do SV cheats one, okay? And then you wanna put in host time scale zero, okay? So host time scale zero will fix some lag issues a lot of the time. If you set it to various values like 0.1 or 0.2, it'll actually activate slow-mo, but sometimes that causes some lag. So if you put it on zero, it will actually match itself to the host frame rate, okay? So very important command. Okay, next command, merv snd time scale. And we're gonna set that to one, okay? Okay, so what this does is it basically allows the sound in the game to not be affected by host time scale. Because we put host time scale at zero, it might mess up the sound and the way that it plays and the pitch and like the, you know, the, the velocity of the sound in game. So we put that to one so it works independently and plays at normal speed, okay? Last one, CL, clock, correction, set that to zero. Okay, this basically tells Counter-Strike to not let you, the client side, control the game clock in-game, okay? So the timing of, of the match and whatnot and uh, how everything syncs up, it allows the server or the demo to actually control it and not the client side, okay? So all very useless knowledge things that you don't need to know in the end of it, but very important to actually put in in the end. Try those. If these don't work, well, it might be because of your interp settings, okay? And I'll show you interp settings that actually work for us here at Style Productions and for me and my movies, all right? So uh, follow along. I'm just going to type them out and you can just copy them, okay? So CL interpolate one, CL interp point one, okay? CL interp ratio two, CL update rate 200. These are all things that will help with uh, basically how the client and the server sort of sync up, okay? This CL update rate, it, it, technically speaking, it doesn't go above the tick rate of the demo. And if you're watching a professional demo, it's gonna be 128. So setting it to 200 is probably unnecessary, but that's what we have in our, uh, in our config. It's probably overkill, but it works, okay? And then these are all, like I said, just um, how the client side sort of syncs up with the server and the demo, okay? So try these commands and, uh, and hopefully one of them helped you, okay? If you have a config, just throw them in your config and execute the config. If you don't use a config, then you're uh, gonna have to type these in after you load the demo, okay? So you can't type them in before the demo actually starts playing, all right? All right, cool, so these commands should help. I have yet to run into a demo that has been laggy after putting these commands in my movie making config, okay? So these should solve your problem. If they don't work, I've got a Discord server that I offer live editing help in. Feel free to join it, and I will make sure to walk you through these steps again, and we'll see if we can get your demo to stop being laggy. 
I really hope this helped in the meantime, and I can't wait to see you in the next tutorial.